Here are seven ways that will help you disappear better. So hopefully you're not disappearing because you're wanted fugitive or you lop somebody's head off and buried them in your backyard. Maybe you're disappearing because an abusive spouse is coming after you. You got some kind of stalker. So the first thing you need to know about making it much easier to disappear is you've got to plan ahead. You have to prepare in advance. Just like I have over a year's worth of survival food, I've got hundreds of gallons of water storage. I am very, very prepared with supplies in case there's a blackout. I've got three generators and all that. Well, disappearing, again, takes planning much much more in advance. It's not something you're gonna wake up one day and be like, hey, you know, I watched a movie. I'm gonna go run off into the woods and live off the grid. It doesn't work that way. So as part of that preparation, something to very much help you is you've got to think about your look. If you are clean shaven like I am, well, grow out a beard. If you have a ton of hair, shave your head. So you don't have to do anything like wild and crazy, but those simple things alter your look very, very much. I could grow my hair out. I could grow a very shaggy beard. It would be much, much harder to recognize me. So definitely think about your look as you're planning on disappear. Also, you need to start thinking about your assets and liquidating your assets. Again, don't do everything overnight where you're gonna draw attention, but you can start taking out of money out of the bank. You can say, hey, maybe you've got a, a mutual fund or something or a index fund with Fidelity or Schwab or whatever, and you can start liquidating that. You need to build up as much cash as possible. Whitey Bulger, the, mo the Boston Mafia boss who was on the run for many, many years from the FBI, when he was finally captured, he had $800,000 in cash in a safe. Makes it much easier to go on the run and disappear when you don't have to go try and get a job, when you don't have to worry about finances. So liquidate as much cash as you can ahead of time. Also, you've got to get rid of that vehicle. I know, I know we're Americans, we love cars, but what if the person stalking you has friends in high places? What if you get pulled over and get a speeding ticket in Timbuktu, Louisiana, and whoever's trying to find you says, wait a minute, I just saw that he got a speeding ticket in Timbuktu, Louisiana, that's where I know he is. It makes you much easier to find. So ditch the car. Start taking public transportation wherever you end up. All you've got to do is, okay, maybe I don't get pulled over. What if you get in a horrible car accident, right? What if it's all over the news? What if you're on the news? What if you have to start exchanging uh, insurance information? And somebody says, hey, wait a minute, this is so-and-so, and I'm a cousin's uncle's aunt's brother of the guy who's trying to find this woman or this man. So get rid of the vehicle. Don't forget to use burner phones. Watch my video on burner phones, and you'll see why I bought my daughter a burner phone. Probably not what you think. Just go to Walmart or Target, pay cash. They activate it for you. The one I bought Water is a track phone. It is super simple. It's brain dead simple to do. So you've got to get a burner phone if you want to communicate. You cannot use the same phone you have. Very, very important. The next thing you want to do is you need to use a service to start scrubbing your personal information online. Obviously, if you've posted about all this stuff on social media, it's much easier to track you because they know your likes, your hobbies, and everything about you. When you use a service to scrub your online information, I recommend, I highly recommend, the sponsor of this video called Delete Me. Even though I have no intention of disappearing or vanishing, I still don't like my personal information being shared online. Delete Me is a quick and easy way to remove my personal data online. And if you care about safeguarding your identity, like I obviously do, this will be a great tool for you too. Delete Me scours the internet and meticulously removes your personal data from public databases and people's search sites. So imagine like some scammer trying to screw you or rip you off or somebody trying to track you and hunt you down. Imagine their frustration when they realize there's nothing to find on you and and no good information to help hunt you down. As a special gift to viewers, you can get 20% off your privacy plan by going to joindeleteme.com slash Hanson and using coupon code Hanson. The final thing you wanna do if you are preparing to vanish, if you're preparing to go hide out and leave somewhere, is you've gotta tell somebody trusted. So you're probably thinking, wait a minute, if I'm trying to vanish, I can't tell anybody because then that'll help the stalker find me or help my abusive ex spouse find me. The reason you need to tell one person, a very trusted person, you're still not gonna tell them where you're going. So if you're vanishing to the middle of nowhere, Florida, you're not even gonna tell your best friend, hey, I'm going to the middle of nowhere, Florida. All you're gonna say is, hey, I'm vanishing, you're not gonna see me again. And the reason you tell them is if you vanish, and you don't tell anybody, what happens? They think you're a missing person. They contact local law enforcement. They contact the FBI and there's a manhunt on you because they think somebody kidnapped you, killed you, you know, whatever. So you need to tell one trusted person that way when somebody knows you're gone, when that abusive ex-spouse, ex-husband is like, where the heck are they? You could say, you know what? They said they were leaving, they're gone. And so if police get contacted, you can tell the police, no, they told me that they are leaving because of your abusive ex-spouse. I know how to contact them, you know, 
blah, 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 blah. And obviously you would contact via a burner phone. You would not contact them by saying, oh, they give me their address in 123 Birmingham, Alabama. So now you know a few ways that will help you more easily disappear and vanish if you need to, even though I pray you never do because it's lonely, it's tough, it's uncomfortable, and it's not as sexy as Hollywood makes it.